Can you really stick to your diet and exercise habits, be healthy, and feel awesome about it when you're on vacation? Yes! So I'm all about taking a vacation from work and household chores and like the normal day-to-day -day grind, but this time I really didn't want to take a vacation from my diet and exercise habits because I've actually really been enjoying what I've been doing and most importantly, how I've been feeling. It's all really just become a lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my diet and exercise habits while I was on a week-long vacation. So if you are a little nervous about sabotaging your diet and fitness progress while you go on your next vacation, then you need to watch this video. So my goal for this trip was to feel as good as I possibly could physically and mentally. And the way I planned to do this was to eat mindfully and to exercise as much as I possibly could. I had these goals because Every year when we go on vacation, like I have these plans of like being good <laughs> and you know, I'm pretty good the first day or two. And then as each day passes, my diet goes down the drain. I certainly never plan to exercise on vacation. That never happened. So it just like, I don't know, I'd end up feeling really horrible by the end of the trip, just like physically and mentally. And then I'd go home a few pounds heavier and then what do you know, we have to start the whole like vacation weight loss journey. And I just didn't want to do that to myself this time. I didn't want that feeling by the end of the trip. I didn't want to feel bloated. I didn't want to feel like a failure. I just wanted to feel like I do every day and I feel pretty good. So I knew this was totally possible because this was the type of vacation where we were just staying in a house and you know with COVID and everything we didn't plan on really going out to eat we never really do anyway this is an annual trip we take to North Carolina we go to the Outer Banks and this time I wanted to stick with my normal diet and exercise habits that I do at home because really we're just in a different house that's really all it is so I'm sure you want to know what I did so let me just get into that real quick before I show you all of the footage from the trip. I do want you to know that I use the app MyFitnessPal, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. Um, it's a free app and you can track all of your calories and it also tracks your macronutrients. And so you know exactly you know how much you're putting into your body. I've been using this lately. I don't think I'm gonna use it for the rest of my life, but it's been a really amazing tool for me right now because I do have a lot of goals. I do wanna change my body a lot for the better. So it's just something that I've been using right now. I try to stay around 1800 calories, give or take. I've been very focused on calories, but in the very near future, I'm going to be kind of looking at my macros a little closer and tweaking my percentage of carbs, fat, and protein, but that's another day. I also don't follow any kind of specific diet. All I really do is try to eat as many nutrient dense foods as possible. And I also make sure that I enjoy every single thing I eat. I have to enjoy what I eat. I do not want, you know, dieting or trying to reach a goal to become torture. I want it to be a really fun and awesome lifestyle that I'm cool with. So I would say that the most challenging part of the trip was the road trip part was like going to the Outer Banks and coming back from the Outer Banks because this was like an all day, like all day travel. We were not in the house yet. So it was just eating on the road. So <laughs> I'm about to show you right now what I ate on the way to the Outer Banks. We are at our first stop for food and we are about two tenths of a mile away from home. <laughs> <laughs> and so my husband is getting bagels and I said I would rather have my power breakfast sandwich from Dunkin Donuts which is in the same complex so I'm ready <laughs> and I chose that because it's got whole grains it's got protein it tastes good it'll fill me for a while This is gonna be a good meal here. We're about a third of the way there, and they've got. And we're in Delaware. Are we in Delaware? Almost. And they've got an outdoor dining, so we are doing it. Are you ready for some Applebee's? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Let's go eat ice. Okay. Who is this lovely family over here? <laughs> and where my grin?
So I eat these Applegate chicken and apple breakfast sausage links almost every day with my breakfast. And the reason I like them so much is because they taste amazing and the ingredients are amazing as well. The top three ingredients are chicken, dried apples, and water. And that is like 98% of what the ingredients are. The macros are awesome. They have seven grams of fat, three carbs, nine protein, and a total of 120 calories for three links. So I usually eat three links at one time. For this particular breakfast, I paired my chicken apple sausage with my healthy chocolate chip pecan muffin that I previously made at home and brought with us. I actually recently made a video about these muffins and I will link that above and in the description box for you guys. So if I wasn't eating my muffin for breakfast, I was eating this cereal. And the cereal I've been eating so much for breakfast. It's by Nature's Path, it's organic, it's called Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla Cereal, and it tastes so, so good. And I love it because the ingredients are also, it's not lengthy, not a lengthy ingredient list. Um, and as for the macros, we've got for two thirds of a cup, 25 grams of carbs, one gram of fat, two grams of protein, and 110 calories. But I do actually always have one full cup. So I thought I would give this nutritional yeast thing a try, and I can't say it went that great the first time around. <laughs> um, this is supposed to be for people who lead a vegan lifestyle and are looking for another way to have cheese or a cheesy flavor to some of their dishes. Um, you can make cheese sauces out of this, or you can sprinkle it over your snacks. So I thought I would sprinkle it over my eggs, and I can't say that it went over that well. I mean, I ate it. It was totally edible, but I don't know. It... I was hoping it would be a great alternative to cheese on my eggs, but it was not. So I look forward to experimenting with this in the future in other ways. And if you guys have ever tried nutritional yeast and you have any good recommendations for me, please let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so these whole wheat roll-ups that I found at Costco like were the basis of all of my lunches. I basically took any leftovers from the dinner from the night before and put it into a wrap. And I love these wraps because they have 10 grams of protein. I love that. 17 carbs, three and a half fat and 110 calories. They're just super duper healthy. Whole wheat flour is at the top of the ingredient list as well as oat flour. So I don't know, I'm just a fan of these and I enjoyed every single lunch. This last wrap is actually not from a dinner. I just happened to find some deli meat in the fridge. So I had a turkey and provolone wrap actually earlier in the trip. And this is also just some Annie's mac and cheese. Like we love Annie's mac and cheese and the kids love it. So I made a box of it towards the end of the trip and that's what this is. So here we've got a delicious filet mignon dinner with a baked potato and a kale salad. Here we've got a hot dog dinner, which we also had homemade hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Um, my mother-in-law made some beans with bacon in them. And then this was like the best dinner ever, the shrimp dinner. There are three different kinds of shrimp. And basically throughout the whole vacation, my mother-in-law, brother-in-law, and sister-in-law did most of the cooking when it came to dinner. And they all did such an amazing job. Like I definitely went back for seconds on the shrimp dinner. It was so, so good. Um, and then you can see there's a side of a rice pilaf. And then we did one dinner that we ordered out from the local grocery store. It was a big crab meat dinner. And I was the last one standing with eating as much as I possibly could. And it was just so good. But I really didn't feel bad about it because that was all I ate at dinner it was literally just crab meat. I don't think I had anything else with that dinner. And then you can see here we have chicken parm. And then the following night we had leftover chicken parm and I decided to just pass on the pasta and have a boatload of salad and it was completely satisfying. I was cool with it, I loved it. So dinners were amazing and I did not, you know, it was hard to estimate calories and all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of had to like estimate and just do my best and really eat mindfully and think about portions and all that kind of stuff, but it worked out. Here's that healthy chocolate chip pecan muffin again. So that was a treat sometimes. And the night we got there, I actually saw a bowl of peaches. So I did have a peach upon arrival. And it's the only one I had throughout the whole trip. I did have an apple throughout the trip, just one time. <laughs> and then we had loads of Pringles there, but just one time I had one serving of Pringles. 
A few times I had my favorite snack from Trader Joe's. It's these white cheddar corn puffs. You can have so many for very few calories. So I eat the whole serving. One time I had half of a serving of ice cream and another time I had an entire serving of ice cream next to my chocolate chip pecan muffin. And let me tell you, it was completely worth it. It's totally fine. I felt great about it. I enjoyed it. Not a big deal. And then one time the ice cream truck came around and I did indulge in a Reese's ice cream sandwich. I did used to be an aerobics instructor and I did teach a lot of step classes in the past. So sort of a default cardio session for me is doing step aerobics. And if I don't have a step around, I will just use literally a step outside. Wherever I can find a step, I'll just step my butt up and down. Yeah! Jumping jacks. All right, we're gonna do a little dance move. Oh yeah, right. Okay, we ordered at 8.49 and got our food at 8.50. That was fast. Are you guys ready to experience Chick-fil-A? I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's see what it is. I don't know how to open it. Is this one thing at a time, Mom? Chicken. Chicken. Okay, so after all of that, how did I feel during my trip? And by the end of my trip, I felt amazing. I did not feel bloated by the end of the trip, which I always feel bloated by the end of a vacation. <laughs> I felt great in my skin. I felt good in a bathing suit. Like I just felt normal. I felt like how I do every day at home. So I was super happy about that. Like, and I never felt hungry. I never felt deprived. I never felt like I wasn't, you know, taking part in all like the food fun. Like I, I, I ate what a lot of our family ate, but I just kind of, you know, made a lot of decisions on the spot based on like my hunger. Did I really want that food? You know, if I didn't really want something, I wouldn't have it just because it was there. Doesn't mean you have to have it. You have to want it bad enough. <laughs> what I decided to do was make a little list of everything I did well on the trip and then maybe where I could have improved or done a little better. Like where did I fall short? First, I'm going to start with what I did well. So the first thing I did well in preparation for this trip is I actually packed foods. I, I, in my head, I planned out what I thought I would eat for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, I kind of had an idea of how it would go. Um, so I brought a lot of the foods with me that I thought would help me. I knew breakfast would be the same thing every single day. And, and like it basically was, I mean, it changed a little bit, but I'm just glad that I brought like my favorite cereals. I brought my favorite breakfast sausage. I brought my muffins from my last video. I brought those. I threw them in the, in the freezer. It all worked out. And so planning and bringing proper foods, 
totally helped me stay on track. And then anything that I needed when we got there, we just went to the grocery store and got it, you know, like milk and stuff like that. Exercise. Okay. I exercised three times as you saw in the footage. So that was a huge success for me. I planned on doing more than three days, but that's just what ended up happening. So I, I felt a little short, but at the same time, like I don't think I've ever exercised on vacation in my entire life. So I'm putting this under the what I did well category. And yeah, exercising three times was major. Another thing I did well was that I passed on every single Twizzler moment. So my mother-in-law, she comes with lots of Twizzlers for all the beach vacations. And like, I usually do eat them, but like, I never really want them, you know? And so this time I said, okay, just eat the Twizzlers when you actually want them. You know, you don't have to always eat them every time somebody pulls them out, you know, because it gets very tempting when you see people chomping on Twizzlers. You're like, oh, I'll take one. I'll take one. So each time the Twizzlers came out, I just said to myself, do you want that Twizzler? Not one time did I want the Twizzler. I actually didn't want it. I never craved it. And so I just passed on it. It was not a big deal. So I felt very proud about that because I saved a lot of calories and a lot of sugar consumption just by listening to my body and, you know, going with how I felt in the moment. Another thing I did well is like I passed on some pasta at one of the meals. Um, we had chicken parm and I just didn't feel like having the pasta. Like I, I just didn't want it. So the same thing with the Twizzlers. I just was like, you know what? I think I just want some salad, like a lot of salad. So, and the chicken, the chicken parm is what was actually like calling my name. That's what I was like craving. So, you know, I had the salad instead of having the pasta. And I don't know, I just felt a little good about that. Just like a minor, a minor thing I did that I was happy about. Overall, I did avoid mindlessly snacking the entire vacation. Every single snack I had was very mindful. I, I packed some snacks so I knew my options, but then of course there were lots of other snacks there that, you know, I just kind of, you know, looked in the closet, was like, oh, Pringles. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some Pringles today. And you know, I counted out a serving and I had a serving and I felt fine about it. Like I didn't feel guilty about eating something that wasn't like totally, you know, super healthy. I just wanted it. And, but you know, I didn't sit there with the whole can and just like mindlessly eat the whole can. I just enjoyed the portion I gave myself. I savored it. I try to savor all my food. <laughs> so where did I fall short? I did fall short in my water consumption. I, I tried, but I just know, I just know I did not drink enough water and that's just how it went. We, you know, we had a Brita that we kept filling up and stuff, but like, I just wasn't in like my usual water habit. So, you know, oh well, <laughs> that didn't work out so well. I did have some indulgences. I did not eat perfectly on this trip. I had two Krispy Kreme donuts towards the end of the trip. And that's fine, it's totally fine because when I look at the whole week, I really didn't eat that many things that were you know, empty calories. So I didn't feel bad about that because I was on vacation and I did want those donuts. So I ate one at night and I think I ate one the next morning because we had absolutely nothing in the house for breakfast. Like that was it, it was the Krispy Kreme. So I had one. I, I worked all the indulgences into my daily calories. So I didn't feel like I was overeating. I just chose to eat a few things throughout the week that I knew had absolutely no nutritional value, but I was just eating it because I wanted to enjoy it in that moment. And that is totally fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. So I was cool with my indulgences, but I did, I did do them. So I put them under the list of what I, what I didn't do well, but I probably shouldn't have, right? <laughs> calories. So almost every single day I went over by a couple hundred calories, like maybe two or 300 calories, um, a little more than what I normally eat. And, you know, I attribute that to the fact that I ate, you know, every dinner I ate whatever was being prepared that night. So, you know, whether it was chicken parm or that like awesome shrimp dinner and whatever else we had during the week, I ate what everyone else ate. So, you know, the calories of those meals may have been jacked up a little more than if I was eating at home. So I don't feel like I ate more. I think that just those foods happen to have a little more calories in them than what I'm used to. So, but I didn't, I didn't worry about it. I didn't care about it. I was like, whatever it is, what it is, that's fine. And I enjoyed every single dinner. End result, I came home and I actually was a pound heavier, but I don't really consider it weight gain because my weight has been very, very stable. I've been between like, I don't know, 142, 143 for a little while now. And that's where I've been like just for such a long time. So I weighed myself on the day we left. I was 142. I came home. I was 143. Well, today I was 141. So it's like, 
it's fine. I basically am saying that I maintained my weight because no one's weight is exactly the same every single day of their lives. There always is a little fluctuation. I tend to always be between like I, I toggle between the same two pounds if I'm not like in a major, you know, weight loss kind of phase. Right now I'm in like weight maintenance slash weight loss, like a little, I'm, I'm losing weight very, very, very slowly. Overall, I'm gonna say I maintained my weight while on this trip. <laughs> I hope this video gave you a little extra hope that you know, going on vacation doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to end up in weight gain, that like you can actually stick to your diet and exercise habits when you're on vacation. It just takes a little extra focus and a little extra planning, but like I did it. <laughs> I actually am so proud of myself because I never did this before and it's totally possible. It's just always remembering what your goals are. And for me, like I said, it was to feel good physically and mentally and I achieved that so if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments if you have anything to contribute to this conversation please also leave them in the comments subscribe to my channel to see future videos about food fitness and mindset and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye